bless you. This is Tommy Favor, uh, Tommy Alesh. I hope you're having a blessed and beautiful morning. Um, God bless you. The Lord be with you today. Grant you favor and grace in the name of Jesus. Um, I'm driving to work as usual. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to differentiate something this morning. Um, my hubby and I had a conversation a little while ago about, um, basically the difference between being a minister of music versus performing music. Um, because my husband and I are musicians and, um, we're worshipers and we get invited to several places and we go and we go to an event and we minister with our music or through our music um a lot of our friends sometimes when they hear that we're going somewhere to to minister they'll say oh where are you guys performing you know where are you guys performing oh when's the show and um for us because we're gospel ministers um it's not that we can't, you know, appreciate the secular music or, you know, it's not that we don't go to, um, you know, weddings or regular conferences or, or secular events like that. But our primary calling is to be ministers of God. And so even when we go to a secular event, quote unquote, um, we still you know, minister songs that we believe um, are exhorting and that are uplifting. And so, you know, that came into question, you know, what's the difference between a minister of music and a performer of music? Well, I think it's in the purpose behind it. Um, a, a, a performer is someone I believe who is more concerned about doing well in order so that people can like them or so that people can enjoy what they've performed. In other words, the center of attention is the audience. The center of attention is the person viewing what you're performing, quote unquote. You know, if uh, I'm in a, at an event where, you know, I have a bunch of young people and I know that they like hip hop and I'm a performer, well, I'm gonna go there and be like, yo, yo, hey, hey, you know, I wanna do the whole hip hop thing and impress them and gear everything that I'm doing towards what they will potentially like because I'm performing. I'm literally there to entertain. I'm there to make them feel good, quote unquote. But a minister is someone who I think is not so much concerned about gearing their, their ministry or their time of ministration to what the people necessarily will feel good about. You know, as a minister, I might walk into a room of those same young people who love hip hop and I know that what they want is the, you know, hype and the yo, yo, let's do this and let's do that. But um, God is speaking something else into my heart. God is saying, listen, these people need to be convicted this morning. These young people need to hear a word about repentance and about humility and about, you know, stopping fornication. And they need to hear a word about, you know, coming back to the throne of mercy and crying out and praying and, and, and literally just worshiping from the depths of their souls. And in that moment, even though what my flesh and what I feel like doing is some hype hip hop, I'm just going to sing a simple worship song that God has told my spirit is going to convict a heart in there. And so that's the difference between a minister and a performer. A performer is there to entertain. A performer is there to literally just entertain people and do what they want and what they would feel good about at that point in time. But a minister is someone who irrespective of what <laughs> the audience wants at that point their audience is really 
the audience of one and that's God the Father you know God the Son God the Holy Spirit all three in one that's who they're getting their instructions from and so everything that they're doing is not so much about entertainment it's about ministering it's about piercing a heart it's about healing a problem it's about touching a situation or a circumstance that the people um, who are listening or viewing um, are really in need of not so much in want of but in need of and so I just wanted to kind of make that clear and so you know whenever people ask my husband and I oh where are you guys performing we usually respond by saying well we're not performing we're ministering somewhere you know um, even if it is a secular event because we believe in just constantly and consistently expressing the lifestyle of godliness and of Christ likeness and of, uh, of, of our faith in God you know that everything we do revolves around God so even if I'm singing or you know playing the piano or my husband is playing the saxophone or dancing or worshiping it's not so much just for entertainment it's in the hopes that at the end of the day whoever has seen or heard what we've done is going to be blessed and touched um, knowing that uh, it wasn't about us and it wasn't about them so much as it was about God being glorified and hopefully a life being touched. Um, and so God bless you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Um, that's the difference between a minister and a <laughs> performer. And um, well, I just want to bless you with the song before I go. Um, you are the pillar that holds my life oh jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life and you are the reason I live each day and you are the reason I breathe and live through the day oh master Jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master Jesus you are the pillar that holds my life. So, Jesus is the reason for what we do. Uh, he's the reason we minister and not perform. <laughs> God bless you. Have a blessed day. Tell me favored.